Talk of the Town. I'm Robin Zimmerman. Very excited to introduce to you all the new fire rescue chief for the town of Hilton Head. His name is Chris Blankenship with us now. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Was just sworn in on this past week, Friday. Yes, ma'am. So, big job. Big job. You've you been with the department over 20 years. Yes, ma'am. You said. And um, so, welcome to the show. And let's talk about a little bit about your past and your history um, with the fire department here in Hilton Head. And then a little bit about what, what some of your plans for the future. All right. Um, I actually came here in the summer of 2001 as a college intern. Um, I went to Eastern Kentucky University and um, Hilton Head Fire Rescue had a summer internship program. Um, I was able to come and be a part of that. Um, went back, finished my senior year of college, and this is the only job I ever interviewed for. So I came back in the May of 2022, right after graduation, and I've been here ever since. And we were just talking that the services you provide are a little different on Hilton Head than some of the other places in the states. You want to describe exactly what you all do? They do. So um, on Hilton Head, we're a um, fire-based EMS which means we run the fire trucks that you see out on the streets to the fires. We also run um, ambulances. So unlike other parts of the county, um, where it's a county-based EMS service, on Hilton Head we do both services. So our people are dual trained to both firefighters and um, medical providers. And how many in the department? We have 100, 111 on the line. Wow, that so seems out there every large. Day. It is. Very good. Yep. In all probably stages of their career, you probably have young are, ones all they, the way to seniors. They, they are. We're, um, I consider us kind of a, a younger department right now. We've had a lot of turnover um, due to retirement mm -hmm. with um, being incorporated in 1993. A lot of those people that were on then have reached the retirement age. So we're, uh, we're a younger department right now with a lot of growth potential. And so what are some of your plans for the future? Well, as always, we're going to continue to provide um, excellent customer service to our, our citizens and our visitors. Um, we have a, a vast array of programs that we run in fire rescue from not just our emergency response that you see us out there every day on the streets doing, but our CPR programs, our community outreach. Um, I think what you're going to see in the future is us being a little more visible out in the community. Um, okay. We're going to try to get out to more public events um, and, right. just, and just be out there a little bit more. I've got two committees that are kind of uh, tagged with that. We've got a recruitment committee that will be out recruiting for firefighters. We have an application process open right now. So you'll see those um, men and women out there in the community trying to uh, inspire people to come work for us. Right. And then we have a community outreach uh, committee that is going to be out there at the public events and just letting the public know what it is we do. What you do and the importance of prevention mm -hmm. and education about the prevention of fire and so forth in this area, which I would think because it gets so hot, although we've had so much rain, but just what we as citizens could do to help prevent fires. Absolutely. So there's prevention not only on the fire side, but on the medical side. So um, we'll take our data that we look at um, every month. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we see a trend of um, like such as falls and stuff like that in the elderly care facilities, we can go out there and actually talk to the residents of those communities and, and uh, talk to them about preventing falls. Okay. Very, now, what, why were you interested in being chief? That's a big, that's a huge responsibility, particularly with a hundred man and women, do you have, I'm assuming you have some we women do. Yep. too? We do, okay. yes. Um, so it's, it's, it's funny, I was asked that on Friday. Um, I never aspired to be the fire chief. Um, I came here and I just wanted to be one of the guys out on the line running the calls every day. But through um, natural progression and succession planning, um, I decided five years ago to move up into the administrative role as the deputy chief of operations. And through that, um, I decided to go back to school, um, get my master's degree in executive leadership. And I think that's what really inspired me to, to to go on to become the fire chief and be the ultimate, you know, have the leadership of, of the entire organization. You know, when I think of fire rescue or fire departments and police department, law enforcement, you really are civil servants and you have to have a passion for what you do. And are you, are you able to recruit passionate people that teammates that really want to be involved? In we do. We have a vast array. We are, um, we, we hire, um, I call them kids, but um, yeah. members uh, right out of high school, 18 years old, they don't know what they want to do with their life. Right. We give them an opportunity um, to come in and, and get in the fire service. And some of them realize that this isn't what they want to do, mm -hmm. and they ultimately leave and get out of the fire service. We hire um, people that have been in the fire service before, um, especially the volunteer ranks that, that know they have a passion for it. So we're really all over the board. But it does take you know someone with commitment and you know that, that uh, yeah. passion to serve. Right. Just a few seconds left. Any message for our viewers about um, the department, fire rescue? Just 
Chief? Remember, uh, we, we will always be out there every day serving our public. Um, our, our commitment to customer service is, is second to none, and you call, we'll come, 911. Very good. The new chief, Chief Chris Blankenship of the Fire Rescue Department for Hilton, the town of Hilton Head. Thanks for being with us.